It's a pleasure to meet you all. I have so looked forward to this moment.
So this is Grandis. <laughs> nice place. I've always wanted to come here. Um, aren't you from Grandis? I'm from Grandis the Realm. But Grandis takes its name from the body at the center of our planetary system. Like Maple World, it has many cities, cultures, and an ecosystem all its own. That makes sense. Pantheon, Elysium, Savage Terminal, Verdell, they're all individual moons orbiting Grandis. Well, I guess we can add Maple World to the neighborhood. My prince, this isn't the correct landing site. Did we get redirected somehow? We should get to our rendezvous point as soon as possible. <laughs> There's the prince and his outsiders! We're surrounded! Is this the Flora army? These are heretics, actually. Enemies of our god and our faith. Excuse me? Not everyone is on board with worshipping a god we haven't heard from in eons. Saren! Guardian, there are more incoming! Take cover! We will dispatch the heretics up here! Who is that? That would be the Guardian of the Holy Sword. Why would a sword need a guardian? It's a very special sword. Right, let's keep moving. There it is. Cernium, the Holy Land.
It's definitely impressive. That's because the entire countryside around Cernium was shaped by the gods of old. The gods did all this? Personally? So the old stories go. Legend has it that the land was carved out in an ancient war between the divine. Hmm. Is that why they call this the Holy Land? Yes. Unfortunately, many people view Cernium as proof that the gods are gone for good. It's said they fought to their last breath in this place. It marked the end of the gods and the beginning of the transcendence. Hmm. It seems we have a lot to learn about Cernium. Of course, that's just a legend. I doubt anything could actually kill a god. At least, I don't think they died. Prince, more enemies are approaching! They've come this close to the city? the adversary. The others are waiting for you in the city. I've been sent to escort you to them. Follow me. Prince Carlisle. Is there any news of my father? His illness has taken its toll, I'm afraid. The king is resting. Now, are you going to introduce me to your companions? This is the Maple Alliance, and this is the famed adversary, their champion. This is the adversary? <laughs> I'd imagine someone more... Impressive. I certainly didn't expect someone so... Uh, ordinary. You put too much stock in gossip, Grandmaster. Have you been trading tall tales at the local tavern? I would never sully myself by... <laughs> Do you expect me to believe that this... person stood up to a transcendent and won? You must guard yourself, Prince. These people may be lying to you. Do you really intend to question my judgment in front of our guests? I mean no disrespect, my Prince. I merely urge caution. After all, they don't even share our faith. 
Above all things, we must be mindful of the will of our god. We are the caretakers of Cernium, after all. <sighs> that was a warm welcome. I beg a million pardons. The Grand Master can be a tad overzealous. And it's just because he doesn't know us yet. This time tomorrow we'll be best mates, him and I. The Holy Man and the Pirate. That sounds like the start of a bad joke. <laughs> If you will excuse me, I shall arrange a place for you to rest. A frail king, an upstart prince, and a holy order that's chomping at the bit to take over. And let's not forget the fringe groups who are all eager for their time in the spotlight. This is going to be even more difficult than forming the Maple Alliance was. You aren't wrong. <laughs> Still, our princely friend seems to have a good head for politics. Let's give him a chance to smooth things over. Listen to the crowds. They're talking about you, adversary. Word travels quickly. The others left to scout the city. In other words, they've gone sightseeing. I suggest you go on a little tour too. Get a feel for the city. If you find anyone who needs help, lend a hand. We want to show them the best side of the Alliance. Don't forget, we're here to protect Cernium and to learn more about these so-called gods of theirs. Let's rendezvous later to compare notes.
You're here just in time for the show. Look. Hey, break it up or you're both getting exiled! Threatening exile over a little name-calling? We have to be strict with them or else we'll lose control of the city. We've got an enemy outside our gate, and more enemies inside sowing discontent. You mean the heretics? They slip into the city in groups of two or three, disguised as ordinary citizens. Then they stir up trouble between the orders here. In other words, you're fighting a war on two fronts. seems you have more problems than you originally let on. For now, yes. But I do think we have a solution at hand. Come to the palace. There's something I would like to show you two. Saren will be furious if she learns you brought outsiders here. But if the Prince wills it, we will obey. Now that we're alone, there's a story I think you need to hear. Won't it cause trouble with your people? Our being here, I mean. You are here, by my invitation. There's nothing to worry about. This is Azor, the Holy Sword of Mitra. They say it can summon a divine light that smites evil. It's a fine sword, but I don't sense any special power coming from it. All of our relics lost their light when the Age of the Gods ended. But things are different now. The Transcendents have all but vanished. The walls between Maple World and Grandis are gone. It's only a matter of time before the light of Mitra returns to the sword. The sword of the Sun God, awakened after all these centuries. It's an inspiring story. It could even bring your people back together. That's what I'm counting on. This is the sword that will unite Cernium. But why are you telling us this? There is a prophecy among the believers. The glory of the heavens will be restored by the grasp of the Chosen One. You see, not just anyone can use the Holy Sword. 
Until the Chosen One appears, this will remain an ordinary blade. The Chosen One, you say? You're after a particular type of hero. The type who could defeat a Transcendent, for example? The thought had crossed my mind. So, do you sense anything? Are you all right? I may have been a little enthusiastic in my attempts to wake you up. She hit you with a jolt that would have brought a giant to his knees. That's beside the point. Did you feel anything when you picked up the sword? That's not exactly the response we were hoping for. It's safe to say the adversary isn't our chosen one. Still, the sword hasn't reacted like that before. You aren't supposed to be here. Saren! You see, we just... Uh... Leave. Now! I suggest everyone calm down. We don't mean any harm. This is all just a misunderstanding. I will not warn you again. Fine. Let's go. We almost lost our lives thanks to your little experiment. <laughs> so what now? Will we be ejected from the city for our sacrilege? No, no, certainly not. Saren acts tough, but she'll listen to reason. Will she? I'm not so sure. Absolutely! Uh, most likely. Actually, uh, I may have endangered my claim to the throne. Excuse me? Don't worry about it. Everything will be just fine. My prince, forgive me for interrupting, but you need to see this. Attention, denizens of the Holy Land. We are the Ebon Star. We stand against the tyranny of the gods. Their sigil is a black sun? No, it... It must be a coincidence. In the era of our ancestors, the gods abandoned this world. We reject the evil carried out in their names. Only in the absence of gods can the people be free. If you value your lives, flee Cernium! We will not rest until the memory of the gods is wiped from this land. Notices just like this have been posted all over the city. The heretics are acting openly. It won't be long now. We've taken down all that we can find, but we still don't know who posted them. I see. We've also had reports that a cache of black powder was stolen from the Priests of Flame. They claim it's the work of the Priests of Dawn. 
Hmm. My friends, I fear that my duties call me elsewhere. I'll smooth things over with Saren for you, so please, rest easy. If you need something to do in the meantime, perhaps you could do some research into the Chosen One. Won't the Order be upset that you involved outsiders? If you can find the Chosen One, it won't matter. And you want us to keep it a secret until then? That will be... challenging. I believe the two of you are more than capable. My librarian can help you. He's very knowledgeable in history and theology. Look for Aaron in the Royal Library. This librarian is trustworthy? Yes. Just don't let appearances fool you. He's an incredibly useful individual. Hmm. Are you looking for me? Look out! Is there a problem? It's fine. This is just a little misunderstanding. What are you doing? Arrest that man! Please, calm yourself. Not all High Flora are monsters. You don't expect me to trust you so easily, do you? Mm -hmm. So, you decide to show your true... <gasps> your wings... They're torn. No matter what I do, they always grow back. I may have been born a High Flora, but I hate them just as much as any Nova. I failed to get rid of my wings, but I think my scars drive home my point. I can't say I'm ready to trust you, but... I may have overreacted. I'm used to it. I'm surprised the prince didn't warn you about me. His idea of a joke, perhaps. Yes. Just don't let appearances fool you. He's an incredibly useful individual. I assume you're here about the Chosen One? What's your interest in our prophecies? You would form an alliance with the Divine? I've never heard anyone say such a thing about a god. You must be the adversary I've heard so much about. They say that you plan to fight Jaren Darmor, even if it means plunging all of Grandis into war. Hmm. I see that your mind is made up. I shouldn't be surprised. You've already vanquished one Transcendent, after all. In that case, let us begin. You'll want to start with the ancient writings on the sword. You do have those writings, don't you? Of course. Unfortunately, they're in Section 3, and Section 3 is a little... Haunted, at the moment. Part of the library is haunted? And you didn't do anything about it? Oh, I tried. Unfortunately, the ghosts didn't care for that. They possessed me. I had spirits leaking out of my nose for ages afterwards. Nobody wanted to come and borrow any books. Yes, that sounds... difficult. <laughs>
Prophecies, prophecies, prophecies. I'm sick of prophecies. So some hermit had a strange dream hundreds of years ago, and we're supposed to make a plan of action from that? Prophecies happen in their own time. You can't force them to happen. If the Nova sat around waiting for prophecies to come true, we'd all have met our end a long time ago. But if this is what we have, I guess it can't be helped. These prophecies all hit the same major points, but the details are impossible to pin down. At least they all agree on one thing. The sword has always been wielded by a celestial. The celestials are demigods who joined the sun god Mitra when he descended from the heavens. But they lost their power when the age of the gods ended, and they've been trapped here ever since. So they settled in a place they called High Mountain and founded the Order. I hear that High Mountain fell some time ago. What happened to the Celestials after that? They spread out and went into hiding. Aside from Saren, they're rarely seen these days. This is a lot to process. The Holy Sword did react to the adversary. Maybe we should start there after all. To be fair, you do have a history of killing godlike creatures. I'm not sure that's it. I understand that the adversary carries the power of the Seal Stone, no? The Seal Stone's power is the same power that sealed the gods away in the first place. What? You weren't aware of the Seal Stone's nature? Well, very few are. How do you know this? I pieced it together from a handful of writings that survived from that time. In other words, it's an educated guess. It was an educated guess. I'd say the adversary confirmed my theory by touching the sword, though. So the adversary possesses the same power that sealed away Mitra. If this got out, the partnership between the Alliance and Cernium would be over. Aaron, can you keep this revelation to yourself for now? Of course. I won't tell a soul. And we must be particularly cautious around Saren. If she catches even a whisper of this, we'll face far worse than exile. Aaron, are you here? Speak of the Celestial. I'm here about my earlier request. I owe you an apology for earlier. Oh, that? It's nothing. Nothing at all.
They're similar, but not identical. There must be other survivors from High Mountain. I'm certain one of them has the emblem. You must agree. It's going to be difficult to find a specific person in this chaos, especially if they don't want to be found. You are right, of course. But I must believe that the Chosen One will not stray far from the sword. How optimistic of you. That's faith. And what you call faith, I call wishful thinking. You are the Prince's guest, but this is the Holy Land. Mind your tongue. One more thing. I had a thought about you. Go ahead. You are celestial. You're dedicated to the faith, and nobody is closer to the sword than you are. I see where you're going, but that's a dead end. I don't have the emblem. You don't have the emblem yet. That doesn't necessarily mean you aren't the Chosen One. I can't just decide to be the Chosen One. And even if I did, I would never be formally recognized by the Order. What does that matter? Do they have a direct line to the gods that I don't know about? All that should really matter is whether or not you have Mitra's blessing. You don't understand. I'm not worthy. I can't even spread my wings. And? All those years ago, when I brought the sword to Cernium, I was injured. You have wings yourself. How would you feel if you couldn't? It's late. I should be going. A celestial who can't spread her wings. What are you doing here? I know the person you're referring to. I've never actually met them. I just know I'm not the only one who comes here. Anyone visiting this memorial is no enemy of mine. My fellow soldiers, they were slain in battle defending the Holy Sword. I was the only survivor to reach the Holy Land. I am blessed to have completed my mission. I ensured their sacrifice was not in vain. Now I come here to remember and honor them. They gave their lives for Mitra. I should be proud of them. I hear that the Alliance doesn't follow any single order. How did you feel when your brothers and sisters at arms fell in battle? I understand. Tell Adia that she was right. It will be too hard to find another Celestial. We should think of another way forward. What's this feather? <laughs>